LeBron James could be on a different team than the Los Angeles Lakers in 2022-23 if Hall of Famer Phil Jackson has his way. On Wednesday, LA Times beat reporter Bill Plaschke, who only recently sat down for an hours-long one-on-one interview with Lakers owner Jeannie Buzz, kind of sort of reported that Jackson would prefer to trade LeBron and keep Westbrook during an appearance on Doug Gottlieb's radio show. I've heard that Phil would like LeBron traded. I've just heard that. But I've got no nothing to back that up. No on-the-record stuff to back that up. But I think Phil... I, know, I, I do know that Phil would like them to keep Westbrook and try to make it work with them. A lot of what we see coming up is going to be Phil's fingerprint and where that stands with LeBron is. I don't think he, I don't think he loves LeBron. But again, I think Jeannie would overrule him on that. But it's, just, it's, it's, it's such a busy collaboration with so many cooks. And I was like, Jeannie, why don't you just hire one person, one person to run the damn thing? An outsider, an outside boy, a non-Laker. And she's like, everybody collaborates. I'm a collaborator, I'm going to keep collaborating. And I'm going to rely on the people I trust. Plasky also said that he believes the Lakers will keep Westbrook next season and make it a prerequisite for whoever they hire as head coach to make it work with Russ, James, and Anthony Davis all under contract. Plasky would go on to say that Buss pushed back on the idea of trading James, logically, so it doesn't appear that the four-time league MVP is going anywhere anytime soon. Major names populate our trade rumor rankings this week, led by two of the top players on the most tumultuous team from last season, the Los Angeles Lakers. ESPN's Adrian Wojnarowski previously reported Jackson is significantly involved in Los Angeles' search for its next head coach after it fired Frank Vogel. It is obvious changes need to be made with the Lakers. They were the league's biggest disappointment with a 33-49 record, which wasn't even good enough to qualify for the play-in tournament. The roster had future Hall of Famers in James, Westbrook, Anthony Davis, Dwight Howard, and Carmelo Anthony, but that wasn't enough to come close to a .500 record. Westbrook did not fit alongside James because both are so ball dominant, and the point guard cannot consistently space the floor with his poor outside shooting. Health was also a concern as James and Davis missed time. Keeping Westbrook might be a shocking move, especially instead of James. It should be noted that Jackson and James don't have the best relationship. The King told reporters in 2016 that he lost respect for Jackson when the then president of the New York Knicks called his business associates a posse. Still, there is no arguing with Jackson's reputation as arguably the greatest coach in NBA history. He led the Chicago Bulls and Lakers to 11 championships and 13 NBA Finals trips while directing legendary players such as Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, Shaquille O'Neal, and Scottie Pippen. Five of those titles and seven of the NBA Finals trips came with the purple and gold, and he also has a longtime relationship with Lakers president Jeannie Buss. Buss recently told Plasky her former boyfriend is helping in the process of choosing a new coach. Yet Jackson's time in the front office with the Knicks is much maligned. Moving on from James just two years after he helped lead Los Angeles to a title would also generate plenty of criticism. Trading LeBron and committing to the tank is one thing. But to trade LeBron and build around Westbrook? That is something else. Luckily, the Lakers brass can just listen to Jackson's input and laugh it off like he is the crazy uncle at the Thanksgiving dinner table. Do I think that Jackson actually does believe this and is telling someone in the Lakers front office to at least consider the idea of trading LeBron and building around Westbrook? Yes, actually, I do. As per Brian Windhorst, LeBron wants to be a Laker. He wants to live in Los Angeles. He loves living in Los Angeles. He still believes he can take the Lakers to heights. He wants to be a Laker. So, what do you think of this roster and depth of Lakers? Let us know in the comment section and, to stay up to date with my latest videos and latest NBA news, make sure to subscribe to the Trade Hoops YouTube channel by clicking the red subscribe button. If you like watching our video, then please don't forget to like and share and subscribe. Thank you for watching.